But um, I'm basing what I'm going to say on the Bill Cap trial, which is the, the large UK trial uh, of adjuvant capcitabine in resected biliary tract cancer, of which I'm the, the, the chief investigator, and we are currently about to get this into, into print. And we presented it at ASCO last year. So basically this shows a, a, an improvement in the overall survival of patients who are given capcitabine over the, the control arm of about 15 months, which is, which is pretty substantial. Now, if you split the, the disease up into the subgroups, you end up with patient populations that are actually too small to analyse individually. However, the, the, the hazard ratio for intrahepatic cholangiocarcinoma was actually one of the best out of the four groups, worst actually being being higher disease. So I would make the argument that firstly capcitabine should be standard of care now in uh, patients who are fit for adjuvant chemotherapy following resection of biliary tract cancer and also should be the uh, control arm for subsequent adjuvant trials. And indeed ACTICA 01 which is the pan-European trial that we're undertaking just now has changed its design to have capcitabine as the as a control arm. So I think it's reality is it's a done deal. Capcitabine is a very easy drug to, to give, the toxicity is very low, and the survival benefit is is is, is pretty good. So I, I, I think the, the the debate is really hard it's really hard to argue uh, against it. But um, I, I think one can say that for individual components of the, 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 the spectrum of biliary tract cancer disease, it's difficult to make an argument specifically in one, one subtype.